Infanto Bono returned from his third feeble-minded Manhattan adventure with the rest of the crew to find a very short-tempered Captain Tubestakes and Fembot. Yo, 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 Captain and Fembot. I fucking laid down the law out there. Then I was Audi 5000. Yeah. Uh, from what we saw on the monitors, those Native Americans were laying down the law on that shithole you call a mouth, motherfucker. Yuck. You really do get dumber every week, eunuch. Uh, should we even bother time traveling again, baby? It'll probably just turn into this. Douchebag having another adventure with sucking American Indian dicks or them running train on this fucking dummy. <laughs> oh, I guess it's worth a try, Captain. Maybe we'll all get lucky this time and he'll end up with coronavirus. <laughs> oh, God damn it, baby. That was fucking funny. I, I can't even be mad at this asshole anymore. Hit those... Time circuits, doll. Aye, aye, Captain. After not heeding Doc's advice and attempting to travel back in time before they blew up the Earth to save it, Rape Force is now stuck jumping from year to year in hopes of finding the parts they need to fix their faulty particle accelerator and Kugel Blitz. It's a race against time. No, it's a rape against time. They're time rapists. Too Many Rapes is filmed in front of a live studio audience. After hitting the time circuits, Rape Force arrived in New York City. No, ha, I'm just fucking kidding you. They arrived in Washington, D.C. on April 15th, 1865. Captain, thank God we're not in New York City again. This time, we're in Washington, D.C., on the day President Abraham Lincoln was assassinated by John Wilkes Booth. Wanna go save his lanky ass? <laughs> oh, that sounds great, darling. Then afterwards, I'm gonna fuck you until I come your pussy, if you know what I mean. Mmm, <laughs> baby. Your sexual innuendo is lit AF. Uh, come on, you fuckers. Uh, take it in some theater will do you all some good. Yo, yo, yo. I'm down, Captain. As long as I don't get stuck mopping up all the jizz. Frankie, the Fimbot, and the rest of the crew all arrived at Peterson House Theater and bought tickets to see My American Cousin. Yo, yo, yo. This is way nicer than the Peterson House my Uncle Willie used to take me to. There's way less cum on the seats and nobody's fisting me. Ooh. Jesus fucking Christ, PB. Everything you say falls under the shit you shouldn't tell anybody category. <laughs> uh, good one, you slippery rape doctor. Now everybody shut the fuck up. The play is about to start. Just keep an eye on the tall cunt in front of us blocking our view with his shitty top hat. That's the prick we're gonna save his life. <laughs> After the curtains were raised, Rape Force was surprised to find out that My American Cousin wasn't a play at all. 
It was a stand-up special for none other than the comedian John Wilkes Booth. Right after the crowd's applause died down, he went into his act. Hi, everybody! Look at this painting of my American cousin Billy! Ain't he a sexy little fucker? Look, look at that one of his cock! That's a huge cock and I sucked it last weekend! Yeah, yeah! I'm John Wilkes Booth, baby! <laughs> After John Wilkes' first joke, President Lincoln instantly started heckling the young comedian. was that? Or shit, you slack jawed fucking hillbilly rube. I'm the president, and I deserve way better entertainment than any of this. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you skinny top hat. Wearing cunt motherfucker. Now I'm gonna tell everyone about my goddamn other American cousin. Joseph, look at this sexy motherfucker! Looking out at his painting of his swollen genitals. Now that motherfucker fucked me in the poop of that shoot last night. Yeah, I'm John Wooks Boot, baby! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking hack. You're not even talking about jokes. You're just talking about incest. These, they suck. You suck, motherfucker. <laughs> Sir, for the love of God, if you don't shut the fuck up, I'm gonna shoot you in the fucking head, truth be told. Huh? Now look at this, this other cousin of mine. Now I know he ain't as hunky as them other boys, but look at here, look at his painting. He got something they don't, yeah, yeah, that's his asshole, baby. And after I came in it three months ago, fuck yeah, baby, I'm John Wilkes Booth, wow! <laughs> oh, that's it. I want my money back. This is the worst thing I've seen in my four scores on this planet. <laughs> as soon as President Lincoln got up and started walking out of the theater, John Wilkes Booth walked up behind him and shot him in the back of the head. As Abe fell to the ground lifeless, Everyone except for Rape Force cleared out of the theater. A confused greaser spoke to the rest of the team. Oh, me thought we were going to save Tall Man. Uh, yeah. But I think we all changed our minds since they were both insufferable cunts. <laughs> Yo, 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 that comedian was funny AF. And check this shit out. Yeah, that's right. I just watched President Abraham Lincoln get shot in the fucking head. Whoa, back the fuck up. That was some fucking crazy shit. Probably traumatized me. Now I'm just fucking kidding. And look at that hat. That's right, that hat. That fucking bloody hat with that sweet bolt hole in it. Yo, I'm fucking taking that and I'm never taking it off. You know what that hat is? That hat is fucking cool. I mean, it's like the best. It's an awesome hat. It's even better than fucking those holes in Jesus' wrist and his ankles. Like, holy shit, man. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna be the Driz with a bloody Abraham Lincoln hat. Yeah. Nobody's gonna fuck with me because they're gonna be... Look, look. Look at that rapper wearing that bloody fucking hat. He got that from Abraham Lincoln when he got shot in the head. You don't want to go toe-in-toe -toe with that motherfucker. Yeah.